All right, guys, this is episode number 158, 158 episodes. Started this channel in February, 158 videos. That's crazy. So yesterday I decided to go to the Twin Cities. I live in Rochester, Minnesota. The Twin Cities is Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the background is a picture of the Vikings Stadium, U.S. Bank Stadium. So I decided to go to the Twin Cities and look for some local card shops. I found three that I was gonna go to. Only had time to go to two because the second one was absolutely awesome. The card shop was Absolute Sports Cards, LLC. They've been open for five and a half years. They have a great shop owner, many showcases, many player sections. That's where I found Bo Bichette. So I'm gonna share through the pickups that I got. I spent a little over 500 for all of these. Usually what the sticker price says, got about 30 to 40% off that on average. So I was happy to support the local shop and I will definitely go there again. He says he does um, PSA uh, group subs. He just got a hundred back the day that I went in the shop yesterday. So I'll have to check him out when I'm in the cities again in Savage, Minnesota. Hope you guys do too. A couple of Bichettes. I love David Ortiz when he's in the twins uniform. Alex Rodriguez, the rookies. These are uh, second or third year A-Rods. I just like them in the Mariners uniform. I have no interest in Texas Rangers or New York Yankees jerseys when I see those. Even if they're autos, I'd rather focus on the Mariners. These were in bins that were 50 cents or three for a dollar. When I gave them the big stack of cards, I didn't really point out that these were the, the 50 cent three for a dollar ones, but I just trusted them with giving a fair price. So these were in the 50 cent bin or three for a dollar. There's about 5,000 cards that I looked through when I found these. These were player sections. I'm a big fan of Colin Kaepernick. I think he'll be very relevant in 15, 20 years. And I think in 10 years, people that maybe had a negative outlook on him, what he did with taking a knee, I think some minds will be changed just as time goes on. So a lot of refractors, some rookie year inserts. I like the prism prisms inserts. He doesn't have a prism the first year that he was in the league, but he does have some inserts from 2014. There's a refractor from Chrome. So on average, I would say these were about a buck fifty a piece, maybe a buck and a quarter. Got one rookie in the mix. All right. Next up, we have a finest garnet. I like this one because it doesn't have any <clears throat> of the color. Distration color, color like chrome does, and it's got the peel still on. Centering a little less on this than this, but I thought that was a cool card. I, out of all the Garnett's cards that I have, hundreds of rookies, I don't have a finest, so it's happy to get that. Anything gold is is collectible, so this number to fifty. Now a lot of people don't look at the old players and look for a new reprint card, but I just like Warren Spawn. It's one of my grandpa's favorite players. Other grandpa, not DiMaggio grandpa, Warren Spawn, different side. We got a Derek Jeter, 93 Select. Love that pose. I don't know how high he is, if he jumped off a building or is on a trampoline, but it's a cool pose. We got Johnny Bench, numbered to 500 with Adam Dunn. We got Trevor Lawrence with the Mac Jones. Don Ross goes for 30. Trevor Lawrence, 5. He's having an off rookie season, but he'll turn it around long term. My favorite set, 98 Bowman. Probably could have got this for four or five bucks on eBay, but that's all right. Kurt Warner, he's got a Disney movie coming out about his journey to the NFL. Got an early Drew Brees game worn jersey card, so San Diego Chargers. Might have overpaid for this, but that's fine. <clears throat> we got Tarazi Prism, one of the goats of WNBA, and the star of Space Jam 2. And then Vlad Guerrero, Tops debut. This is from 2019, as it gets a little more focused. Two graded cards that I got, Dwayne Wade PSA 8 and a Bo Bichette. Who would have thought picking up Bo Bichette? Awesome pose. And again, it was about, I got this for about 15 bucks, which is pretty fair. Raw cards of the Stadium Club go for about 10. So getting one graded for five bucks more is a good deal, I thought. And the two cards, so I don't have a Soto autograph. This is from 2019. 
So it's a jersey autograph patch number to 25. So six out of 25. It's in the new 2021 product from series one. Very awesome card. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, and, and this one, man. Got three out of my top five favorite players. You put Curry Puckett and Bo Bichette on this card, boom, that would have been awesome. But I'll take DiMaggio game-worn bat, Jackie Robinson game-worn jersey, and Ted Williams game-worn jersey. You'll notice that it says Leighton on top. If you don't know cards that much, Leighton is a company that does box breaks. They've been around one of the longest of all the big breakers that you see on YouTube. Beautiful card. That's history. So we think of three players that played in the 40s and 50s. Wow. And actually, Joe DiMaggio's last year was 1951. So that autograph Yankees team ball that sometimes they say 1952. Well, I know it's 1951 because DiMaggio's last year and Mickey Mantle's first year. They overlap for one year. Man, that's a beautiful card. So for these two cards right here, I paid about two twenty a piece. That's about maybe yeah, about two twenty a piece. It was really close to two twenty a piece. And then with the rest of this was another hundred and twenty. So about five fifty, something like that, ballpark. But oh, beautiful! It's a beautiful card. I could see this card being about a six hundred dollar card in a couple years. The one that's trout of this goes for five to seven hundred for an autograph game worn jersey obviously soto is not in that caliber but he is really young and he could be the face of the made the major league in a couple years so but those are really two good investments there all right thanks for watching i appreciate it please leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i appreciate all your support have a great day and happy collecting